Jim, it's NBA All-Star Weekend. You'll be headed to Indianapolis along with several members of the Milwaukee Bucks organization uh, to participate in All-Star Weekend. Indianapolis, kind of, I wouldn't say comparable to Milwaukee, but smaller market, lower visibility when it comes to the uh, the spectrum of pro sports markets in America. And uh, I think it's fair to wonder, if you're a Bucks fan, when the Milwaukee Bucks are going to get to host one of these all-star games. They have not hosted more than one time. That was in 1977. They have Pfizer Forum, which of course was built in 2018, just uh, kind of begging for a big time showcase that has hosted many events, including uh, coming up, the Republican National Convention will be in Milwaukee, in fact, making heavy use of Pfizer Forum. And uh, I kind of thought the Bucks, who had made a bid in 2025 20, or 26, would would get one of those all-star games. A lot of smaller-ish markets like Salt Lake City, Indianapolis, Cleveland have been awarded. But instead, they go to Golden State, which hasn't hosted since 2000, so whatever. But Los Angeles has hosted like three times in the since the turn of the century. Like 2018, they just hosted one. I get it. It's L.A. It's huge. I get it. This, but it'll I, be I'm, Inglewood, Jr. Inglewood. Different my bad. than Los Angeles, new my arena. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you actually, that's true. But you actually ran down the list of why Milwaukee um, didn't get 25 or 26. And that's because the last three have been in Cleveland, Salt Lake City, and now Indianapolis. <laughs> they've done um, they've done their time, is what you're saying. Yeah, I, I mean, Jr. There's a, I don't know if anyone in the league would say this, but my feel is this is the year that the Bucks were supposed to get it, that Milwaukee was supposed to get it. And what I mean by, mean by that is the pandemic screwed everything up. This all-star game that is in Indianapolis was supposed to be in 2020 um, or 2021. But because of the pandemic, that was taken away from Indianapolis and they did a bubble all-star game in Atlanta. And so they had to boot that all-star game from Indy to the next available year, which was this year, Mm -hmm. because they had already done, say, uh, you know, uh, Cleveland and and Salt Lake City were already sort of booked. And so you had the bubble year and then you had to bump to Indy to now. And then I'll tell you, JR, when, you know, the news uh, came out last year, this time Salt Lake City, the Bucks were putting in for 25 and 26. There's just audible groans amongst the NBA people of the idea Mm. of a fourth straight cold weather all-star game. I mean, it's February. You're going to get cold weather. I cannot tell you how many people like moaned about, you know, how are they not in Miami? How are they not in California? It should permanently move to Vegas or New Orleans, you know? Um, And while some of that was the the assorted national media, uh, coastal elites, if you will, Mm -hmm. um, there were NBA folks, you know, Um, the players, don't necessarily like, like they play in the winter, you know? Um, I think a lot of them want to be somewhere else uh, (laughs) warmer. So I I do think Milwaukee will get one JR Um, might be 27 or 28 at this point uh, or 29. But I do think the fact that the pandemic kind of flipped this and you had these multiple years of Midwestern slash cold cities, it just, Plus the new arenas out west, um, which are now newer than Pfizer, right? And so um, I think, yeah, I think the uh, I think all of that played into the fact that you know Milwaukee's still on the outside looking into the NBA All Star game. Yeah, I guess I guess I get all that. It's just I what a missed opportunity because Giannis is one of the faces of the league to go to his hometown. Now Giannis has no problem has had no problem being a star on All Star Weekend. It's not like they need to be in Milwaukee for that to happen. I guess I, I I don't know, maybe I just view these leagues as more egalitarian than I should, you know? Like, I know they try to share the wealth in MLB. Well, this place hasn't hosted in a long time. It's not about finding a warm weather climate. This is an indoor sport. Who cares if it's a warm weather or cold weather climate? The players, I guess, might care, but the vast majority of the audience is not actually physically in the location. So um, I don't know if having the RNC here will boost interest or, or just in general hosting events that – you know, you know, big time events like that. I, I think Milwaukee's equipped for it, right? Like they're not worried about the hotels or anything like that. That's not no, that Milwaukee. I, I think I think maybe at one point JR that was a real thing. But look, the NBA, the NFL drafts coming to Green Bay. Right, um, exactly. And and let's not, you know, mess around here. I mean, there's gonna be a lot of people bussing 
from Milwaukee to Green Bay for that weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I, I think years ago, pre Deer District, you know, pre, you know, some of the, the hotels are definitely newer downtown or in the third ward, you know, in the last handful of years. So yeah, they can look the, the DNC was supposed to be in Milwaukee before the pandemic as well. Yep. Um, and that infrastructure. And look, you mentioned, yeah, the audience, it has nothing to do with the audience. This is about the league. The league is throwing a party. People are already in Indianapolis. Um, like all of the brands, all of, you know, Giannis is doing movies and Dame's doing <laughs> shoes and watches and soft drinks. And it's like, it's, it's the time for all of that stuff. And yeah, like those folks don't want to be wearing giant jackets. They want to look good and be photographed and seen and move around and, um, you know, and that's, that's a real thing. And so, yeah, the game is indoors, um, but you know, they don't want to be cold. So, uh, you know, the, it'll, it'll get to Milwaukee. It's just unfortunate that maybe it might be a year when the bucks are no longer having all-stars, you know? Oh yeah. Know. Well, that happened in 77. Um, they had no all-stars, no bucks players on that team. Right. That's done. <laughs> All right. Real quick. What are you, any, any, any predictions for all-star weekend? Damian Lillard repeating in the three point championship. Was that, I think what you said last time we chatted, uh, you know, I, I think maybe between then and now, um, so they're doing it at Lucas Oil State. So they're doing it in a football stadium. Super weird. And they're doing it on a glass court that's supposed to have like <laughs> videos or lasers or some kind of weird stuff going on. I I don't know how you can handicap that. Like, I yeah. mean, Dame, I guess this is his fourth one. So I got to be a favorite. Um, I know Tyrese set a record. Tyrese Halliburton set a record before he kind of ran out of gas um, mm -hmm. late. I imagine there'll be some adrenaline being at home. But um, I'll just say Dame because he's been in four of them. But I don't know, JR. I mean, that is not a good shooting environment. No disrespect. I know Malik Beasley really wants to win. He's training hard. He's working with Craig Hodges. Um, but, I mean, you can't replicate shooting – in a basketball stadium on a glass court with things shooting around. I don't, man, I don't know. Maybe they won't be shooting around their feet, but they might. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> That's a three-time three -time three point competition champion, Craig Hodges. So uh, it yeah. doesn't get any better than that. That's the right person to have on your corner. He's Jim Ozarski. Find everything at jsonline.com. He'll be in, in Indianapolis for the All-Star Game, and uh, hopefully we have some fun with it. Thanks, Jim. Talk to you again soon. Bye.